Today, I want to talk about buying and selling accounts here in Rise of Kingdoms because it's a topic that I've never really covered here on the channel, but I feel like I've seen more people lately talking about selling their account, whether it's in the comments of my videos or on my Discord or various other places across the Rise of Kingdoms community. And I think this is a pretty important topic. However, just as a side note, obviously you can see on the screen, this is live right here. I just saw that we were rallying a flag and I decided to just put it in the video but if you guys are in my kvk or if you've been keeping up with my kvk this has been absolutely insane some of the most intense fighting that i've seen and experienced in a long time i was down about 20 million power as of uh last night finally broke 1 billion kill points and it's just it's been an absolutely it's been insane so whether you are an ally of ours or an enemy of ours that we've been fighting it's been so intense and i feel like everybody has really put a lot on the line and i have a lot of respect for everybody in this kvk in case you guys are wondering what my hall of heroes looks like right now i have about 2 million dead troops most of it is uh uh, tier five units it's been a bloody kvk i gotta say that much anyway let's talk about buying and selling accounts okay if you guys didn't know some players in the game when they're quitting the game they will decide to sell their account to somebody who's maybe new or somebody who wants an additional account in rise of kingdoms so let's talk about the reasons why you might want to buy an account in rise of kingdoms well i think it's pretty obvious why you would want to buy one because you can negotiate the price of that account and if somebody has a ton of you know expertise to legendary commanders and they have a ton of gear on that account you may be able to get that account for a much cheaper price than it would cost you to get a, a brand new account up to that same level on top of that a lot of players maybe they want a second or third account either for farming or they just want another account they can fight with they might not want to go through the grind of leveling up their city hall all the way up to 25 again that takes a long time you have to log in every single day you have to do events you have to get your books of the covenant again you have to get your arrows of resistance again there's so many things that you have to do to get your city back up to tier five that a lot of people you know if they've already done it once uh but they want a second account they don't really want to do it again so they're willing to pay for an account that's already city hall 25 already tier five units and they just pick up where that other player left off and on paper that sounds like a good idea right you can pay a lot less money and skip the grind and then boom you have another account whether it's your second or third account and there you go you're good to go and it's sort of a win-win right because the person who's selling their account they obviously don't want it anymore so they're getting rid of it they're either quitting or they need the money or whatever the case might be and they get they get paid for it. and it seems like a pretty reasonable thing to do but of course things are never that simple now when we take a look at buying and selling accounts from Lilith's perspective right the developers of rise of kingdoms it is against the terms of service it is against the rules to purchase another player's account in fact it is against the rules to play another person's account now how the, ooh, we popped the flag boys let's go dang look at all those sad faces that's crazy don't worry i'm not bragging we've got a ton of sad faces ourselves too okay that's that's a bloody one man that's that's a bloody that's a bloody flag i'm not gonna lie to you guys that's Oof, man, that AOE on Zhang Yu always is, oh, oh man, it just doesn't disappoint. It just doesn't disappoint. It's crazy. The whole KVK has been like this, guys. Whether we're defending or they're defending, it's just, bruh, bruh, oh my god. This ain't even, like, compared to a lot of the stuff, this KVK, this ain't even that crazy. This is just standard for this KVK. Look, this dude's getting dead. Oh my god, dude. Anyway, it is against the rules to even play another player's account. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that, right? If you get a bunch of people together and you just decide, okay, we're gonna pool all of our money and put all of our money into one account, then we're gonna share the password with everybody, and then that account is gonna be super strong and it could basically be online 24 7 right and i've actually seen this happen before in older kingdoms that i was in there were players that were just mega whales 
that were owned by that were played by three or four or more different people and that just doesn't feel that fair right whales have an advantage already but if multiple people are playing it then that means that you know you're going to be fighting that whale 24 7. there's really it kind of breaks the strategy the little bit of strategy that is in the game because that player is just never going to be offline so that's sort of why it's against the rules to share accounts in rise of kingdoms but when you take a look at buying and selling accounts I think it's pretty obvious why Lilith wouldn't want this to be allowed. They lose money, right? Um, like I said before, it's cheaper to typically buy an account with progress than it is to create a new account and spend money to get it up to that point. It's significantly cheaper, in fact. And so because of that, Lilith is losing out on the revenue that you may have been spending on creating a new account. So for just straight up from a monetary perspective, Lilith is not going to be happy about that. And so it's against the rules. But then we have to talk about, you know, how how well does Lilith enforce that policy? And should you take the risk of buying an account? Because again, the upside is pretty high. If you spend a thousand dollars on an account, you could potentially get an account that's worth five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars, which is insane savings. And the person who's selling it doesn't really care that they're losing that money because if they don't sell it they're still losing that money right so at least they can get a thousand dollars back for it so it's sort of a win-win and with that upside being so high with you being able to save you know a hundred percent value 500 percent value right plus all the time to get the account there it may still seem that even though it's against the rules that it's something that you should consider and whether or not you are willing to risk it is ultimately up to you it's your money right if you spend a thousand dollars and the account gets banned or whatever the case is then that's on you but i'm here to tell you that you probably shouldn't do it and i just want to make it clear that i don't really care about lilith's bottom line they are extremely aggressive in their monetization strategy and it's clear that that will never change and it will probably continue to get worse at the detriment of the player experience so honestly i could give a shit about how much money they're making because they're already making out like absolute bandits it's actually disgusting how much money Lilith is making and hey good for them at the end of the day they're a business that's what they have to do if i were them i would probably do the same thing so i can't be that critical of them from that perspective but as a player it kind of sucks so i just want to make it clear that even though i disagree with lilith's monetization strategy in rise of kingdoms i still am taking their side on this and it's not because i'm sponsored you guys know i've never been sponsored by lilith i truthfully don't think they like my content because of things like what i just said two minutes ago like i'm i'm very critical of them i'm open about it and yeah they just they, they probably just don't really have a reason to like me but but even still without me being financially supported by Lilith and even with me disagreeing with how expensive it is to well up in this game I still don't think that you should buy an account in Rise of Kingdoms and there's a lot of reasons the obvious one is that the account can just get banned right if there's an account that's been logging into the game from Los Angeles California for the last three years and then all of a sudden it's logging in from somewhere in South Korea for more than like a month, they're gonna know that, you know, the account has changed hands. It's, it's pretty clear, right? Like the probability that somebody moves across the world uh, permanently is not that high. And sure, it happens sometimes, and I'm sure Lilith has suspended accounts temporarily by accident. But I would say in like 99% of cases, if an account has a pretty significant track record of logging in from a certain geographical area and then that suddenly changes drastically it's pretty clear that the account was sold and there's also other ways that you know Lilith can tell if you start typing in a different language or if you immediately change the profile pic you move servers like th there's there's a lot of ways that they can tell that it's most likely an account that has been accessed by somebody else right they don't have to prove that the account was bought or sold they just have to prove that it's being shared by someone else and if they can do that that's really all the justification they need to ban the account so one of the reasons why you shouldn't attempt to buy an account is because you could just throw that that, that money could be just thrown in the garbage right once Lilith can prove pretty much without a shadow of a doubt that it was bought or sold 
then they could just ban your account and then that's it your money is gone but the other reason that i think it's it's not that great of an idea to buy or sell an account is because and this is what i think is most likely to happen is that the person you're buying or selling from probably will scam you okay listen okay we're talking about digital assets here right and the way that you would gain access to somebody else's account is you would actually have to come up here go into the settings and you would have to log out of your current account you would have to unlink your account from wherever it's linked right now or you can switch accounts to some someone else so essentially what people do from what i've heard and i've never bought or sold an account but what people tell me is that oh they will just create a fake or not a fake but they'll just create a new gmail account or a new uh, you know whatever a new facebook or something um and they'll make the password like password one two three four and then they'll just link their existing rise of kingdoms account to that new account that they just made and then they'll give you the login information to that gmail or that facebook or whatever the case is and then you just log in on your computer and boom you have that linked account so that's typically from what i've heard how it works but think about it like this right if you're exchanging digital goods right you're essentially buying a, a, an email and password that's basically what you're doing um you have to trust that the person you're sending the money to is going to give you that account if someone's selling an account for a thousand dollars they're not going to give you access to the account before they get the money because if you get access to the account then you could just change the password and then link it to your you know you could set up two-step uh verification to your phone number and then boom you successfully just stole their account right so they're not going to do that it's very easy to do that they're probably going to request some amount of money up front or all of it depending on how valuable the account is and then they're going to give you the access to the account and then you have to hope that they don't then change the password or what's also extremely common from what i've been told is that people will refund the sale so what typically will happen is they will send you money via paypal or maybe venmo cash app whatever right there, there's a ton of different ways to transfer money these days so what they'll do is they'll send you the money for the account and then you'll give them the login information everything goes through boom sounds good and then you know six days later you find out from PayPal that the transaction has been reversed, right? It's been refunded essentially because you don't have insurance on buying an email and password. There's no buyer or seller insurance there, right? So then they just refund the money and they keep your account, right? So there's a bunch of different ways for the buyer or the seller to scam one another in this, uh, you know, in this system, right? And this is why there's a lot of risk involved with buying and selling accounts and also if buying and selling accounts is sort of a norm in a game right like let's say that let's say it's not against the rules let's say Lilith just decides okay you're allowed to buy and sell accounts the scamming will continue to increase right that's just what will happen there's there's a lot of money to be made on accounts that have a ton of expertise legendaries and so you know people will probably start scamming people at a bigger rate at a more frequent rate and then rise of kingdoms would get the reputation of being a, a scammy game right it's got a toxic community where people are scamming each other for money and that just doesn't look good for lilith right so it's in their best interest for multiple reasons to make this uh you know to make this against the rules i just think it's super risky to be buying and selling accounts you're probably going to get scammed and you know the number one uh, the number one way to tell is if somebody says oh dude, I, i'm do bro i'm so trustworthy like no dude like i i swear to you bro like this I, dude all those other people bro those do they're gonna scam you bro i'm the one you gotta trust me man do uh, trust me bro i've sold so i've sold so many accounts like here's here's the i sold an account to this dude go hit them up and then they just send you uh, you know over to their friends discord but really it's just them on a second discord and they're like yeah dude no dude you could totally trust him bro like the more they try to convince you that they're not going to scam you the higher the probability they're probably going to scam you now of course there's ways around this right you could you could buy and sell using like cryptocurrency where you can't like you can't really refund it because it's like a one-way thing right i send you bitcoin and boom it's, it's gone it's done it's gone right so there are ways to do this and and there's a smart way to do it of course right there's but the really there's only ways where you can uh, decrease the probability of getting scammed there's no guaranteed way to not get scammed when you talk about buying and selling accounts 
in rise of kingdoms and i just wanted to talk about this because again it's something that i've seen a lot of especially here on youtube in my discord people will spam it and then i have to go in and ban them because it's annoying i don't want to deal with that right i don't want to deal with people coming into my community trying to scam my viewers that's crazy man that's it's just it's disgusting and look i get it too i'm not if you're selling accounts I don't I'm not even trying to judge you on a morality basis listen you might need the money for something you might have just got fired you might need the money for a medical treatment or whatever I don't get it dude there's there's so many more important things to spend on uh, than rise of kingdoms and if you need to sell that account then that go for it I don't care man I don't care about the morality behind it you just have to understand that you know there's a high probability of whether you're buying or selling an account that you're gonna get scammed and there's just no way that I'm gonna let that be a thing in my discord or in my comment section or in my little corner of this rise of kingdoms uh, community because it's just not a good look it's just not a good look too many people have gotten scammed i've talked to so many people who've gotten scammed and it just sucks man it just sucks so guys don't do it don't buy accounts don't sell accounts it's not worth it okay if you're gonna quit the game then who knows maybe in a few months you're gonna want to come back and you're gonna want to wish that you didn't sell your account because i've gotten that message a ton i've had people even comment on my videos saying man you know i came back after a year i wish i still had an account to play because now i'm starting over and you know it's fun to start over especially when you know what you're doing but realistically you probably wish you still had all those expertise commanders you paid for right anyway i just felt like this was an important topic to discuss on the channel because i've never talked about it before and again i know a lot of people who've been scammed both buyers and sellers so i would recommend not doing it guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video help me beat the youtube algorithm by dropping a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here at least consider it because i know most of you guys are not subscribed and it really helps out my channel a ton if you do you can always unsubscribe later comment down below your thoughts on buying and selling accounts do you think it should be allowed or not i would love to hear from you and with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace